Never thought it could happen. A St. Petersburg couple is sounding the alarm after otters attacked their beloved dog. Peter Bernard is on the night before us in St. Petersburg. Peter, what a story. Yeah, amazing, Jen. It happened early Easter morning at the home that overlooks Boca Ciega Bay. They heard a blood curdling sound and found their dog severely injured. It's a home with a million dollar view. Marilyn and Jack Freeman moved here 40 years ago, drawn by the peace and serenity of the lapping waters. But all that came to a crashing halt. My grandson came screaming. I mean, it affected him so terribly. He was just crying and screaming and he was yelling about Bucky. Otters had crept up into their backyard and attacked Bucky, the couple's 13-year-old Papillon. Jack and Marilyn ran to catch a glimpse of the offending creatures. And when we got off the pavement, ran into the pool, jumped out of the pool, and then jumped into the bay. They rushed a bleeding and badly injured Bucky to a 24-hour emergency vet, but it was too late. Now the retirees only have photos of Bucky, his dog toys, and his empty cage to remind him of the dog they cherished. It's been shattering for me. Every time I think of it, I start crying. But wait, aren't otters supposed to be carefree, lovable, playful animals? Earlier this month, one attacked kayakers on the Braden River. From the Freemans, this warning. I think that people should watch out for their pets. In fact, Every time I see somebody with a dog, I ask him, if you live on the water, please look out for that. The couple routinely sees ducks, heron, egrets, sharks, all kinds of animals in their backyard, but never otters. And uh, tonight, Marilyn is having trouble sleeping, and she has ever since this happened. Jen? Sad story. Peter Bernard on the night before us tonight. Thank you.